Hello and welcome. This is video four in the Ultimate Insider series on getting your PLR set up with your platform. And one thing that we need to do is to set up the domain name. And what you're going to do is to come into your memberships area. And you're going to see that here on this tab that says memberships. And when you have the memberships here, basically what you're going to be doing with the domain is you're going to be creating a domain where your customer will go to get their product on a regular basis. So this does not have to be your main domain name. It doesn't have to be your home page. It doesn't have to be your branded domain name. What it re all it really needs to do is to be a place where you know that your customer will recognize your brand and to go and get the content that you have set up for them. And what you're going to do is to go inside of your courses area. You're then going to go to the settings area. You're going to see a tab here that says custom domain. And what you're going to see here is that we need to set up the domain. And you can either set up an A record or a C name record. And depending on which one you set up, that is how you're going to have the domains pointed. Now you're going to have two choices. If you want to have your membership site on a root domain, and it's just going to be yourdomain.com and that's going to be your membership site and you're going to have your customer to log in at that root domain you're going to use the A record if you're going to have your customer log in at a subdomain you're going to use the C name record at your domain name so again the A record is going to be if you want to use the entire domain for your membership site and you want your customer to log in at that domain name the C name is for you to be able to set it up with a subdomain and that is where your customer is going to log in. For the sake of this video, I'm going to demonstrate you doing this with a subdomain. Now I'm going to go into the DNS settings of my domain name and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new record and I'm going to add a new record again so that it's going to be a subdomain. So here's what I'm going to so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click add new record. I am then going to click on C name. When I write in this name here, this is what I want my subdomain to be. So I'm going to go ahead and write in a name that I want my subdomain to be. When I write that in, so I can then go get my value for the C name record. And so I'm going to go and grab this domain and I'm going to put it at my registrar. That domain is saved at my registrar. I'm going to click save. And actually, it looks like I've already got a, a name. I would change that. I would then click Saved. It's now saved. So what I need to do now is I need to go back to my platform account. When I go to the inside of your platform account, I'm going to write in the domain. Once I have it, I'm then going to click Save. And then my custom domain is then updated in the system. Now, it may take up to 15 minutes before this is activated. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to test it now. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to just head to the web. And so my domain is now set up. So I've done no customization to this page. I've done no logos or anything like that. All I've really done is set up my domain name. And this is going to be the membership area where your customer is going to log in to watch your video content and to experience the content that you have in course format. And so we will pick this up from the next step in the process. Mm -hmm. 